Okay, so tonight's evening meal we have uh, fresh sea bass cooked with sauteed potatoes and green beans. Um, I'm going to pan fry the sea bass in butter. I'm now waiting to uh, put the butter in and get it melted before I add it. And I'm going to sprinkle salt and pepper and lemon and sauteed potatoes are pre-cooked potatoes and chop them and they're going to be cooked with rosemary and salt and pepper in the oven in a hot oven for about 45 minutes the sea bass is now ready to nearly ready to go in the pan that's the sauteed potatoes with rosemary which are lovely um, the oven will be fairly hot for those um, next we have we've got the pan we've got the pan warming up now with the butter in hard butter I use I don't use soft butter I use a block of hard butter the beans I've got out of the freezer just add a spoonful of water cover them with the lid and stick them in the microwave for about seven minutes that's the hard butter what I get for that for cooking and now it's got just melt away. I've made some homemade bread um, today which we'll have with it with one pet which is nice. The oven's now warming up nicely. Uh, fairly hot oven for the potatoes. Give them a stir around halfway through cooking and they get all nice and brown evenly. That's a rosemary on the top with a little oil of course to get them nice and crispy. Uh, give them a bit of a stir. And stick so that's, that's looking good steam away yeah slip those back in the oven that'll take another about half an hour I guess looking at those we need them nice and crispy we like them crispy yeah so they'll go back in the oven now for about probably half an hour or so hot oven again keep the oven really hot yeah, whack those in. There we go. Cut some bread ready. Dad had to cut the bread for me because he cuts bread really nicely. Yeah. Really good. Well, now we're back on the bread. Yeah, so we've got some bread some nice slices. slices now. And Dad will put butter on those for me. A uh, nice fresh homemade bread which I made this morning. White half brown flour, all done by hand. No bread maker in this house, it's all done by hand. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, we like our bread. So, yes, I think that'll be enough. Dan, I think that'll be enough bread. <laughs> so, now he's going to butter it for me. Put it on the plate. There we go, look, all ready to go. And that's the butter I use, little pack spread wool on which is great for spreading on bread so it's nice and soft there's the butter melting in the pan all ready for the sea bass make sure it's well melted and really hot um, just turn in a little bit brown before you put the fish in um, skin side down salt and pepper on the skin all those potatoes they're coming on nicely are going shortly in the microwave they, they cook quite nice in the microwave take about five six minutes now the beans are going in the microwave oh, on. now for about i don't know seven minutes hot on a high heat can we turn this on high microwave heat uh, and then take them out halfway through and give them a little stir 
the plates come off. So I need to sort that out before we go back in. I built that quite a bit on my microwave, which is annoying when you're cooking. There we go, look, some seconds. Nearly done. I normally cook them halfway through and I give them a quick blast at the end, just before I serve. That way they keep nice and hot. Temperature's off the oven, mm -hmm. so that's up to temperature. So okay. these should be, yep, they come up nicely. Probably just give them a little, little stir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Don't need that. I might take the rosemary off because that does split up in tiny little pieces. It okay. does make potatoes smell and taste gorgeous. That looks fine. Good. Yeah, we'll go back in now. For a few more minutes. I won't start the fish until they're nearly done. The fish only takes about five minutes. Butter. A little bit more in. I like plenty of butter. But when the fish is cooked, I pour it over the fish and it gives it a lovely flavour. The lemon and salt and pepper. That's good. Yeah, all set. Go for the fish. Butter is slightly bubbling, that's that's a good indicator to put the fish in when it's bubbling like that. Not burnt, but well, well melted and bubbling nicely. And in nicely. Let's wait a little bit more in. That one's nicely melted before I put the sea bass in. Yeah, let it all bubble away good. Very hot heat for a start. And yeah, before we put the fish in, get it well hot. Have, have a quick wash down. It splatters quite a bit, so I always have a hot cloth, bowl of hot soapy water to wipe down. That's the first sea bass going in. That's the biggest one, so I'll put that one in first. Next one, skin down. Yeah, and then the next one. There we go. I'll just leave it really hot. All that skin all nice and crispy and brown. A little bit of salt on the first. A little bit of pepper. White pepper I use. Yeah, just leave it. Let it cook away nicely. Two, three minutes. I might put a little bit of lemon on. A little bit more when it gets a bit on there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a nice flavour? Yeah, sweet. It's fresh lemon I use. I don't use any bottle and stuff. I'll keep some back to, to serve it with as well. Yeah, that looks good and nice. Give it four, 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 five minutes. Butter. And um, just put a little bit of butter from the pan over the fish. Gives it a nice flavour and a nice colour as well. I'll start turning it over, but I think the skin is nice and crispy. You can actually tell when the fish is nearly cooked. It starts to go a little bit white, just above the skin. You can see it in the pan, and you know that's cooked, and it's time to flip it over. Very often the skin does slightly come away, but it doesn't matter. 
That's lovely to eat as well. best not to really Just let it do itself a little bit more lemon on the skin this on the skin I'm trying to get it flipped over but I don't want to break it up nicely beans back in the microwave for another minute because I'm about to dish up you have to be fairly quickly because it soon goes cold the plates are warming on top of the oven I do like warm plates quite fussy about that yeah nice colour that's how it wants to be nice and brown and crispy that's how we like it anyway so the beans are all nice and hot now give them a little stir around yeah, that's soft beans and uh, sure. uh, potatoes, sauté potatoes now coming out. Oh, look, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, all ready to start. Plates are hot. So I've got a little bit more room. Oh, good. I'll take the fish out first. Yeah, I'm going to spatula. So I'm going to have a plate to serve the fish. There we go. That's the fish. I think, oh no, I'm going to do potatoes first. Doesn't matter really. Plenty of potatoes. Probably too many, but we'll eat them. They won't be wasted. I always blanch my potatoes first before I make saute ones or roast potatoes. I'll find they cook better. Let them go cold. And then, uh, Ready to put them in the oven, just put the oil on, salt, pepper. I find they go crispy about from all angles at the moment. Nice, yeah. Daniel's got extra. Mm. <laughs> right, just make the plate just sort of. Present them a little bit nicer if you can before I put the fish on. So here we go with the fish. Right. I will serve it that way up, although I might just flip it over. Yeah, can see how nice and coloured that is. Nice and brown. It doesn't matter which way you serve it, really. Sea bass, I don't think, anyway, because it's all lovely. Normally eat all the skin as well because it's so tasty. That's what my son caught, Dad and caught that. Got loads in the freezer, what he's caught. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very expensive fish. Um, 
really lovely flavour, delicate, you don't want to mess about with it. Just pan fry it, serve it and eat it. Runner beans come on now. Here we go, they go nice with fish or peas. Not done doing runner beans tonight for a change. Yeah. Probably would have put a tomato on something, but I don't think I had any. So let's put a bit of lemon on. Yeah, that'd be good. You have to be quick, really, because it's in those cold fish tanks, but the plates are hot, so we should be okay. Yeah, it's all ready to go now. It's a lemon. Nice. Wow. A little bit of vinegar on as well. Butter sauce. Yeah, butter out the pan, that's always good. So I always tip that on the fish. Keeps it nice and soft and gives it an extra flavour. Yeah, that's all butter that is. It's not oil or anything, it's all solid butter. Salt, pepper, gorgeous. Yeah. Voila. Makes Fantastic some nice sauce. Done a good job there, Mum. There we go. We're all ready to go now. Ready to go. Um, taking it through to the dining room. Mm. Opened mm. up the fish so you can see how how flaky that is and how you should cook it and it should be nice and white, but not dry white. 